Hello, let's uh, look at publication that is desktop publisher. Uh, this time round we are using MS Publisher. So basically uh, I have arranged the tutorial in around five slides. Uh, the first slide is the first lesson whereby I uh, will take you through st uh, starting stroke launching MS Publisher. Therefore, for that case, we shall look at parts of Microsoft Publisher screen. We shall see how to save and retrieve a publication, creating publication from templates, and also creating uh, from scratch. So we go ahead and launch <coughs> Publisher. So we launch Publisher, uh, Publisher launches. So in this uh, part, these are the available templates. Uh, you can create a brochure, you can create a business card, you can create a calendar, greeting cards, uh, rebels, newsletters, and postcards. Uh, you can also create advertisements, award certificates, uh, it is. For example, we can just click on award certificates and then uh, we see some of the templates. Therefore, what you need to do is to click something like this template, then you click on create. So the template will be automatically loaded to your uh, publication. So what you need to do here is just to change. Like for example, you just change some of these things by clicking. Like now here, you can uh, type the recipient name, Don Wichai. Then, <clears throat> then you have business name, for example, here, we can have something like two queens. Two queens, sorry, undo, we undo, two queens, uh, two queen, two queens, computer shop, search. So organization here, you can change this one and insert your logo. If you have a logo, you can also customize also by changing the font size of this font style, like now making it bold. So this is how you can create a certificate using a template. On the other hand, uh, you can also go to file, then a new. Uh, it takes you back to the same. So you can have thousands of thousands of templates, just like I have demonstrated. You just click on one, then you work on it. But my point of interest is using a blank page. So you, you are supposed to hit more blank page sizes so that you can see the normal A4 that we use. And then if you want to create something like a, a certificate from scratch, you can use a Radiscape A4 or a A4 portrait. So let me double click on a blank one. This is how uh, you are supposed to be taught in school. You need to know things from scratch, not really customizing templates. Uh, the first thing you need to know here uh, is to save a publication. And for that case, this mine leads a publication too. But in an exam situation, you'll be supposed to uh, name it according to examiner's needs. So you just go to fire, then save us. Then you redirect your uh, publication like in desktop. Type the name. For example, now you can have award certificate. Like that. Then you click on save. So up here, it read publication too. But after saving, it is now award certificate. Then from there, uh, in case in the future you want to retrieve, for example, let me just create something sketchy. Then we try to retrieve. So right now, I, can, I may have this one. Let me start, I think this is my logo. Then I go to insert, word that. For example, I have this one. So this one can be <coughs> certificate, certificate of merit. Then you click on OK. Let's assume this is a certificate I'm creating now using the publication. Then we can have some writings, shape, text here. But this is to certify that has completed her course. So uh, this one, you can highlight this one and then increase the font size from the quick access to Ruba. Like 
that this means we add text. So let's assume this is our publication I save and then I cross it. So from any other publication, you just go to file, then open. Then you go to your desktop. Uh, we have created certificate of award, just double click. Uh, for that case, you will have retrieved. You see, you will have retrieved your, uh, your own certificate. And therefore for that case, uh, let's launch a new page and then we can run more. So we go to uh, this part here, then we go to uh, A4, uh, our publication is here, we create, then we have our new publication. So uh, the first thing to do is to uh, do the ruler guide. Some people may just pull the rulers this way and subdivide the feeds the way they wish. If I need it divided into three, like that, so that I can utilize this one with the text boxes. But uh, there are some people who wish, if I may undo this, there are some people who wish to go to this point here, and then page set, page design goes to uh, this part, guidelines, and then these are the guidelines, then they choose guidelines that switch, uh, that suit their needs. Like for example, I may go with this one. Then you see my 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 stuff has been divided by one, two, three, four, four equal columns. So this means that the next thing, if I need to assign text, I just go to insert shapes. Then I take this one, the first part here. This is called the text box. So I click on the text box and draw. For instance, I want my text to start here up to here. So the next thing I would advise is that uh, you can import text that is by copy paste from uh, Microsoft Word. For instance, if I may have something like um, project <coughs> here, for example, I just go to this here point here, uh, then I just get some um, some data. I want to get some data from this point to yeah, and from this point to another point. So I need to have some data, like now this one. So this is my data declaration. I can get this data here. I copy this. Then I take it to publisher. Just paste. Go to home, paste. So you will see that I have created a paragraph here. I have created a paragraph. I have created a paragraph in publisher. Then if, for example, I am creating a magazine and I want to insert a picture here, I can just go to insert picture. Then I can get a picture of this chicken, then bring it here. Then I continue. If now I, I need some other paragraph down here, just go to insert shape, then I take the text box and draw it. So basically in the publisher, most, most of the work is done using the, it's done using uh, text boxes. So again, I may copy this, then paste it here. I may paste that one there. You see that um, I, I am able to create something like a magazine, whereby I can still have a heading here, insert, I go to add that, then I have something, some sort of uh, word that, and this, this is my first uh, reason in publisher in publisher so if i do that you see now i can bring this one here as my heading then continue creating my beautiful stuff using the the text boxes so in case again i want more more data i can still go to shapes take the text box example this one i want this data start here go to my document where the document is and have something have some data like this one this one I copy and then paste. Okay, in another circumstance, if you don't want to uh, copy paste, you can straight type to publisher. You can still type to publisher here. But make sure that this blue part here, it is called the printable area, is where your data is. This other grayish part here, we call them the paste board. This is where you can draw something like a logo, then bring it to your staff. So in case you want to, like for example, to have a drop cap on this one, this is the first letter here, you can just go to, <coughs> uh, to this point here, here, text box, 
you see this is called on demand it only comes when you're working with data then you have drop cap then you have several drop caps you can see you have many drop types of drop caps in in publisher so i can have that one as a, a, a drop cap then after doing that you can also change this the font here from caribri to any other depending on you are you are you are you are you are need then we can also look at arrangement just like i took you through microsoft word there is no much difference here you just have arrangement from home tab where i can have centered wherever justified or right arrangement so uh, in microsoft publisher uh, there are a lot of uh, things that uh, you can utilize so I, i have also showed you the ruler these are called the ruler guides therefore you can also drag the ruler guide this way to subdivide a page you can also use the vertical ruler to subdivide a page so uh, in case you don't need to use the automatic uh, guides here you can use the ruler guides uh, to uh, do uh, that one so let's meet in our next lesson